Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In sa video nito, tuturuan ko kayo kung ano naman yung another JavaScript principle or concept that is called destructuring. So, saan natin to magagamit and paano natin to gagamitin. So, destructuring is uh, helping you to unpack values no sa iyong arrays and sa iyong objects. So, mas pinabilis siya na pagkuha ng mga values. So, for example, let's say you have an object's uh, array here na may table, phone, apple, and test na values. So, normally, ang gagawin mo is magda-declare ka ng uh, variable dito. For example, furniture equals objects, then square bracket, and then kukunin mo yung first value, yung table. So, kakapi ko to, okay, and then kukunin ko yung iba. So, phone, then fruit, and then test. So, papalitan ko yung index. Ayan, and then itry natin i-console.log. So, console.log. Furniture, phone, fruit, and then test. Okay, and dira natin. Node, index.js. So, makita nyo, nakuha natin successfully. Pero, tignan nyo yung code natin. Sobrang haba. So, this is where the structuring comes in. So, anong gagawin natin? Let's go here. And remove natin. So, magda-declare ulit tayo ng variable. But this time, with the power of the structuring. So, const. Since this is an array, we need to use square bracket. And then, ilalagay natin yung corresponding variable name. So, for example, furniture. Ayan na, furniture. Next, we have phone. So, kakapi lang natin yung sa console.log natin. Fruit, and then test. So, equals to objects. So, nangyayari na yung destructuring in the background. So, kukunin na lahat ng values dito sa objects natin, then i-assign dito sa individual variables natin. So, we have a string furniture and string phone. So, let's see if we'll have the same uh, values as before. So, for example, let's run and bam! You can see you have the same output. So, what if you will add another variable here or another value? So, let's say 1. Okay. So, ano kaya ang magiging output? Pag nira natin ulit. So, walang mangyayari kasi hindi naman natin kinuha si 1. So, lagyan natin ng variable number. Or let's say, we can't use number. Um, let's use an age. Okay? So, let's try to console.log again. Age. And then, let's run. And then, there you go. You can see the number 1. Okay? Ngayon, let's try naman natin paano gumagana yung destructuring with uh, the data type of object. So, let's take this as an example, uh, yung person object. So, you have a name, age, birth date, and status property sa person na variable or sa person na object. So, kanina, we're working with arrays. Now, we will be working with object. So, if gusto mong i-access yung value or properties ng person and storm sa another variable, ang gagawin mo is you will declare a variable. And then, you will use the dot notation or the square bracket notation. So, for example, person, dot name. Okay? So, ikakapi lang natin ulit. Let paste. And then, age, birth date, and then status. Okay? Then, we'll update the object property dito. Okay. So, let's try to console that log or display the value. So, name, age, birth date, and then yung status. And then, let's run. Node, index.js. Then, click enter, and then, bam, you will have the name, the age, the birth date, and or the date today, and yung status niya. But, there is a faster way in doing this using the structuring. So, i-delete natin to lahat, ha? And we will just declare const, and then yung name, no? So, dapat magmamatch yung variable name natin sa property na i-access natin. So, name, age, birth date, and then yung status. So, equal to the person object. Okay. So, it will be the same. No? We, will, we are expecting the same uh, values. So, clear muna natin and then we'll run. So, we have the same values. No? So, that is how you destructure a object in JavaScript. So, I hope to see you in the next video.